Hello families, how are you? Hope you're all doing well, stay healthy and safe. Welcome to John the second episode of Play and Learn. My name is Cindy. I'm an early childhood educator at Luminous Community Services. Today we're going to learn something related to our body parts. I'm going to sing a few songs, read a book, and doing activities with you. And today, Teddy is going to join us to learn different body parts too. So we're going to sing the songs together. The first song we're going to sing is Head and Shoulder. I know most of you know this song, so we're going to, to sing the songs and do the action as well. So where's your head? So you touch your head, and when you sing the shoulder part, you touch your shoulder. And this is your knee, this is your toes, and where's your hand? Here's your hand, and this is the fingers. And where's your elbow? Here's your elbow, here's your elbow. And where's your ears? Here's your ears. And here is your mouth, and here's your nose, and your eye. Okay, so we all start together. Head and shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulder, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Hands and fingers, elbow and knees, elbow and knees, elbow and knees. Hands and fingers, elbow and knees, and one big big sneeze at you. And make sure we cover your mouth, okay? <laughs> so now we're going to sing another action song, so we can doing the action with our different body parts. Okay, where's your hands? So hands are clapping. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Clap your hands, my darling. And now the toes are tapping. Here's your toes. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Tap your toes, my darling. How about your feet? Feet are for walking, okay? Feet are walking. Feet are walking, walk, walk, walk. Feet are walking, walk, walk, walk. Feet are walking, walk, walk, walk. Walk your feet, my darling. And your arms are swinging. Arms are swinging, swing, swing, swing. Arms are swinging, swing, swing, swing. Arms are swinging, swing, 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 swing your arms, my darling. And the fingers are wiggling, wiggle your fingers like this, right? Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle your fingers, my darling. And then your hands are nodding. Head is nothing, not, not, not. Head is nothing, not, not, not. Head is nothing, not, not, not. Not your head, my darling. And then eyes are peeking, eyes are peeking, peek, peek, peek. Eyes are peeking, peek, peek, peek. Eyes are peeking, peek, peek, peek. Peek a boo, my darling. Pick a boo, yeah. Now I'm going to read a book and see how the animals move their body parts too. This book's name is From Head to Toe by Erica. You can listen and join in with the animals to do the action. Move yourself from head to toe. Are you ready? Here we go. From Head to Toe by Eric Carr. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. So turn your head. 
I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. Bend your neck. I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. Raise your shoulder. I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it. Wave your arms. I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. Clap your hands. I am a gorilla and I thumb my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. From your chest. I am a cat and I arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it. So arch your back like a cat. I am a gorilla and I waggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it. So waggle your hips. I'm a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. Bend your knee. I'm a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it. Kick your leg. I'm an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I can do it. Stomp your foot. I am I and I wiggle my toes. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it. Wiggle your toes. The end. So now we are going to do two craft activities. The first one is making a candlestick for the jumping over the candlestick game. Here are the materials you need. So you need a toilet paper roll, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and a few markers. So you're going to cut out the frame with the white paper if you don't have the orange construction paper. So you draw the frame on the paper and cut it out. And the kids will going to Color the frame with the orange marker on both sides. After you finish coloring the frame, you're going to decorate the toilet paper roll. You can use a sticker if you have. If you don't, you give them the marker or crayon. They can draw whatever they like. After that, and then you're going to glue the frame onto the toilet paper roll. So here's how we make the candlestick. So now when we play with the game, we're going to sing the rhyme together. There's a rhyme called Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. So for preschooler, it enhances the language skill by listening to the rhyme. And also you can uh, call the child's name instead of Jack for jumping over the candlestick. Also, for the uh, gross motor skill will be developed when they jump over the candlestick. For coloring and cutting and decorating for the toilet paper roll can enhance their fine motor skill. For toddlers as well, they can do coloring and then they can also, uh, by listening to the rhyme, to enhance their language skill. And for gross motor skill, because uh, they might not know how to jump over the candlestick, and then you can uh, ask them to walk over the candlestick, or even the adults then hold them jumping over the candlestick. So this is how the game is played with the candlestick. The second craft activity is making a person. So here's the material we need. So we need a paper, and we need glue stick. We need markers, scissors, 
color paper and yarn or shattered tissue paper. So first we draw out the person on the paper and then we cut it out. And for the preschooler, we ask them to make and draw the eyes, right? You can ask them, where's the eyes? So can you put the eyes, the nose and the mouth? And also they can use the yarn or shattered tissue paper to make the hair. Also they can use the color paper to cut out some clothing for the person. Or they can use the markers to draw the clothes on the person. For this activity for preschoolers, they can help them for the language skill by asking them where is the eye, how many eyes, and also uh, by naming and recognize different body parts. Also for um, fine motor skill by drawing, by gluing the stuff onto the body. For toddlers, we can ask them how many eyes so they can point to the eyes and also where are the hand, where is the feet and also all these um, questions you can ask the toddlers so it can help them to develop their language skill and also you can let them use the crayon or markers to try to draw the eyes or nose or mouth too. So all this can help them to develop their fine motor skill. So I hope you will try to do these activities at home and have fun with them. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.